Hello, what's up folks? So, here I have a game winner feeder that has been around for quite a while. I've had this one out here at my grandmother's property for over six years now. And this guy has held up quite well. Now, it, it, uh, it hasn't rusted out or, or fallen apart. As you can see, it's still standing here. So this is somewhat of a six, six year review on this guy. Um, I think it was my uncle had purchased this and had brought it out here and we've moved it around a couple times but um, all in all I can still 250 pounds of me can still climb up this ladder without it shaking or cracking or budging so thankfully this 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 construction has held up nicely um, we haven't had any issues with uh, the little timer I mean they're pretty standard but the main thing I wanted to focus on and review is just the overall structure of this big guy um, you can fit quite a bit of corn in here. I'll put the description down in the details because off the top of my head I forget how many bags of corn you can put in here, but it is a lot. You can fill this sucker up and not have to worry about it for months and months at a time depending on how often your feeds are going off. Um, we've been using this thing in the mornings and the evenings. We have it set for 6.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Uh, it only goes off now that hunting season is over with. It only goes off uh, about two to four seconds per feed just to kind of encourage the, the wildlife to come out and still eat, eat the corn. But, uh, but this thing has done, uh, done, done quite well. Uh, we have had issues in the past with wild hogs flipping over our tripod feeders. Uh, the big sows, the big boars, they'll get up underneath these legs because you know they're smart, smart enough to have figured out that they can actually flip these feeders over. So we have some T-posts, these steel T-posts, uh, kind of help keep the, you know, the, the legs planted in the ground. And now we have staked them down. Uh, don't get me wrong, we're not, we're not stupid. We're not stupid in the sense that we didn't stake them. It's just we've had problems with the hogs digging up the stakes and lifting these feeders and flipping them over and and, and knocking them over that way. So um, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy. We have couple little accessories that we've mounted to it we have a little motion light right here and we have our 12 volt solar panel mounted up on top of this platform here um, now if I climb up this real quick I'll give you guys a, a better idea oh. so we have our latch here on the side and now this is really the only component that we have noticed that has has developed some some signs of rust i keep a little stick in here just to keep the raccoons from unlatching it but um, if you look at this you can see that it has it has corroded the surface corrosion is quite uh, excessive you know after six years of being in the rain and the elements and the sunlight it has it has taken a little bit of a toll but it still functions just fine and does the job all right now you lift her open here and they have a nice gasket, a rubber gasket that goes all the way around the edge on this guy. The lid is holding up just fine, nice big lid. And I just dumped a few bags of corn in here yesterday, just three bags to get us by for a, a couple weeks or so until I can get some more corn out here. But um, you can see this thing is not even close to being full. And that's over 120 pounds of corn right there. So you can uh, fill this up quite a bit. And, uh, and forget about it for months at a time as long as you have a good solar panel and a good battery. Uh, this thing will function uh, regardless. Now, the half that really matters on this feeder, they have, uh, they put a cage on here. This is the older model. They, the newer models have a larger cage that actually comes down over your timer box and your motor box. Um, this, this one, it did have some, some minor issues with, uh, it had corroded on these little small connecting points for the bottom end. And after having, you know, more than just a few raccoons climb up here and grab onto this and shake it, they had actually uh, peeled it off at one point. And so I had to come in here with some little metal, metal wire ties and kind of rig it back up on here because we do have a lot of raccoons out here at our property. Um, now another thing I was running into was you know you have your solar panel which is mounted right here up on the platform and there's a metal protected cable that comes down and I went ahead and rung it up through the top of the cage there 
and then drilled a, a decent little hole and, and took some duct tape and kind of made it to where it seals pretty decent. Now let's pop this sucker open and take them. Keep in mind this is six years old, but we've got our our feed times down here. We've got 6.30 a.m. for two seconds on high RPM and 6.30 p.m. for two seconds on high RPM. And then we have all, now you can, you can program up to six different feed times per day. So if you're, if you've got quite a bit of game and you're, you're looking to feed a lot, um, you can feed up to six times a day. Now, in my opinion, that's, that's kind of crazy. I can't imagine feeding that much per day, but, uh, once in the morning and once is the, in the evening is all that I can imagine, um, that you'll need uh, just generally. Cause that's when, you know, that's when the deer, that's when the pop you know, that's when everybody's out and about, you know, in the e early evening and right, right, right at dusk when the sun's setting. So, um, these are very simple, very easy to program. Um, there's really not a whole lot to them. They're somewhat self-explanatory. You've got your directional arrows and the OK button. And it's just a simple matter of playing around with it. And you'll figure this out in no time. Um, so... Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video review of the game winner, the large game winner feeder. But uh, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you guys are considering on buying one of these, they do have uh, the updated newer model. And uh, the newer model has uh, a little viewing glass on it. So instead of coming up to it and, and giving it a couple smacks to listen for some corn it actually has a little see a little see-through glass window that goes up and around and it has different little marks on it to show you you know which level your corn is at and maybe how much time you have left on it and like I had said earlier the newer model does have a larger uh, varmint cage you know if you will that comes down and protects you from those raccoons and those pests from coming up here and stealing your corn and you know they uh, they stick their little human-like hands in there and spin that spinner around and knock all your corn out of here in no time if you're not careful. So, anywho, something to consider. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.